Okay, so in this video, I am going to, we're basically going to be talking about hybrid fitteds. We're going to look at the five different kinds that I have. Um, and by five different kinds, I mean they're just by five different makers, so they're styled a little bit different. Each one of them is different. Some have features that are same, but none of them are exactly the same. So let's start out with my favorite, and it is Sprouting Gems. I really, really like this material. It's nice. Um, it's not super soft or anything, but it's nice and absorbent, and it's very pretty with the birds and the colors and stuff like that. And basically what makes this a hybrid fitted is that, unlike just a regular fitted, you open it up and it has an extra snap-in piece of material. And with this diaper, it just has this long piece here that unsnaps. You snap it together, you snap it in the diaper, and then you basically put it on your child. My daughter currently has to have it folded down because she's still kind of little. She's only about five months old and she wears it like this. Um, what I love about this diaper is that it's nice and narrow through the middle here. Um, unlike a lot of the other diapers in what we were doing for nighttime, she can, you know, actually put her legs together and it is pliable and she can, she can move pretty easily in that with no problem. Um, the, I do find that this um, diaper absorbs really nicely. Um, we haven't had any issues with it and it's worked really good for us. The second one that I really like is this. Now, I do not like the snap down feature as much as the fold down top just because um, they don't seem to fit my daughter's legs as much because she's still like really tiny in the waist but she's got the chunkiest thighs so it's really hard to match it up just perfectly the reason this is probably my next favorite is just because it absorbs extremely well and she does not wet through this where um a few of the other um hybrid fitted she already kind of wet through and this is sugar britches sugar britches nappies or something and this is what the little label looks like i'm not a big fan of where this label is and how it's sewn on um it kind of really bugs me right there um and this is a bulkier diaper like it is not as you know it's not as narrow through um the middle and it's more like the traditional pocket diapers the way it looks on the front like a one size and when you open this one it's got the stay dry material just the other one um, that I just showed wasn't a stay dry but it was um, like a velour so that it, it helps take the moisture away but this is an actual stay dry material and this one actually snaps in the front and the back and then it's basically a big long piece and it doesn't hook together it just snaps and there's also a little bit of absorbency sewn in right in here if you can see like a regular fitted would have And then I just kind of did that one backwards, but that's okay. You can do it either way. It doesn't really matter. And so, like I said, um, this is my next favorite only because it absorbs really well. Otherwise, it um, I really do like that it's Winnie the Pooh. It's really cute, and it's um, very soft because it's flannel on the outside. But otherwise, there are a lot of um, things I really don't care for, but it's still a good diaper. Um, my next favorite is this one, and it is CJ's 
I'm not sure how to say that or how it's supposed to be pronounced. Full of, I don't know. It's got, there's the label. And basically, it's another one size. Like, I like that folds down like the other one. But what I don't like about this is the inserts in this, the snap-in, are so extremely long that when I do fold it down, they kind of stick up and I have to like try to like tuck them down in here somehow. So they're not like the other one that have the um, snap. But this is what the inside looks like. Um, it has like a kind of like a, I would say maybe cotton velour. Uh, which is not a stay dry, but it helps to wick moisture away. And this basically has just this, that, and then it has just a little one here for a little bit of extra absorbency. And then it's got a bamboo. So, and then you just basically take this once you've got it all hooked together. And it has one snap here in the back. You snap it, you fold it up, and it's ready to go on the baby or if your baby needs it all the way up. Um, I do like how this feels. I love the insides of the ones with any kind of velour fabric just because they are very soft and um, this stretchy cotton material that's on the outside. Um, it's very nice. I really like the feel of it. And this is bright pink and the pretty blue. It goes together so nicely. Um, I do like that it's a little bit more narrow through here. Um, not as narrow as the first one I showed, but, um, you know, it's still less than uh, most cloth diapers have, especially when you have to um, stuff them to the max. Um, so. This diaper, um, she can wet through pretty easy um, if it has the fleece over it. Uh, she really doesn't have trouble like leaking and leaving puddles, but she can wet through this already. So um, eventually, we're going to have to get a waterproof cover just so that she, um, you know, doesn't end up with the leaking issues again. Um, my next favorite is this one and I thought this was really pretty interesting um, just the colors in it and I thought it was girly but not too girly and I'd put this on a boy but it's kind of girly but I'd still put this on a boy um, the brand is Jenna Bug Baby Boutique and like with the last diaper, it's um, it's almost, it's very similar to the last diaper, actually. Let me get that up here and show you. This one's just a little bit thicker. So, she may, she hasn't worn this one yet, so this one is um, brand new. This is the only um, of our hybrid fitteds that she has not worn. Uh, when you open it, it comes like this. The way its inserts are sewn together, it has two layers of the velour fabric. And then I would think this is a bamboo or a cotton, I'm not really sure. It kind of feels like a bamboo. And they're just like this. So, I do worry about that with her. She may need a little bit more of absorbency in this, but I have another insert that if I really need, I can just lay in here under it. That really won't be an issue. And this diaper is not that thick as it is, so adding just an extra insert down here I don't think is going to really matter. But I really, um, this one wasn't too expensive, and I really liked the, um, the really cool colors and everything so I thought that would be nice and you know it's got the fold down rise like I really like most of the um, fitteds I got um, 
have the fold down. Three out of the five that I have have the fold down um, snaps instead of the, the rise ones. This also has um, the cotton, the really um, cool filling cotton that this last one had. Uh, this one's not quite as stretchy or if I don't know if it's just not as worn as the other because I got this um, this one used and this one used and um, only three of them are new. And my least favorite but I still really like is I gotta look the tags in here. It is Creations by Ashley One and it got a Facebook page you can't really see that but okay the first thing that I have to say I like the only tag that I do not like for these diapers is this one and it's just because it is so big and it's just in the way but this one I like even though it's that same kind of thing it's on the inside so that when I snap her diaper it is not in the way and it's not flopping around or it's not anything like that. Um, this diaper ha is kind of narrow through here, but it's got a, definitely a funky design to it. I'm not sure I've seen really very many fitted that have this design. It's got two like wings. It looks like a weird jacked up butterfly or something. And it also has a extra snap in right there. And one thing that I don't, I mean, I think this diaper looks cool, definitely. It's got a unique design, but it does not have any um, fabric that will wick the moisture away or it's not stay dry or anything like that. So I'm definitely um, weary of kind of putting this in, on her at night just because um, she will feel the wetness and it will be against her skin all night. So, you know, you always have that and she, it could cause her to get diaper rash more often just being wet like that for so many hours because she can be in her nighttime diaper. Sometimes she'll sleep just depending from nine to seven or nine to eight. So, um, I use this one for night a half. Um, I don't use it as regularly as I will the other ones because they're more, um, they wick the moisture away more and um, they're stay dry. So I just feel more comfortable putting her in those. And my advice to you, if you're starting out cloth diapering, I would say don't be afraid of hybrid fitteds. I was afraid of the whole fitted, hybrid fitted idea when I first started cloth diapering, I thought, you know, I'm going to be pocket and I'm going to be all in one. That's going to be what I like. But when she started wetting out of her pockets and all in ones at nighttime and I had to stuff them so much that she couldn't put her little legs together. I was like, there has to be something, you know, something else out there that isn't as bulky, but will do the job good. And I do use, um, like tie fleece covers right now and that works for us fine but eventually I'm probably as she gets older and what's a little bit more I will have to move to waterproof covers and that's fine I'll buy them here and there and a little you know and maybe just get two and then you know alternate them among her uh, nighttime diapers and that's really no big deal so I hope you found my video about hybrids fitted helpful and if you have any questions um, leave them below and if you like cloth diapering videos or cloth pad videos subscribe and you can get updates for my videos. Thank you for watching.